Hey guys, you join me at this Electrify America station that I have been putting all of our plug-in hybrids and EVs at. And we have the plug-in hybrid Mazda CX-90 here, 2024. There's an Audi e-tron right over here actually just leaving, which is pretty cool. Check that thing out. Um, but I wanted to see how this thing would charge on this J1772 port over this Electrify America station. And so far we have a free complimentary charge, which is awesome. And everything's been going seamlessly, no issues whatsoever. So let's go and take a look of how this is all working out. Okay guys, this station's pretty open right now and we have the CX-90 here in this awesome rhodium white metallic paint. It looks really nice. And we have this one J1772 port level two charger over here. And this has been like the third time I've used it on a plug-in hybrid and it's been complimentary every single time, which is kind of nice. We've been here for like eight minutes so far, so not really too long. They finally fixed this screen. This used to be broken actually, um, so which is interesting. You can see updating charging cost, energy delivered and a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go take a look inside. I'm not sure if it's reading correctly with the CX-90 though. The last time I checked, everything was going well. Um, inside, on this side we have the gas cap actually. This is a plug-in hybrid. You can see inside it is indeed charging, um, which is pretty cool. So we have. 42% state of charge. Really love this screen. This is epic. Um, it says an hour and 30 minutes for a full charge on this car. We have 11 miles, 13 miles of range. So it's actually going pretty quick. Really nice stuff. And let's see if we can turn the car on while it's charging. It's a good test. Distracted driving will cause it. Yes, and the car is on. I believe we're in accessory mode, um, but it is technically on, which is kind of cool. Uh, let me just see if I can turn it on. Okay, so it's kind of in like an accessory mode. It's still charging though, which is kind of cool. So yeah, it's still charging. Now the AC is running, so things and accessories seem to be running while it's still plugged in, which is kind of cool, but it's definitely not on full. You can see it's still like in the accessory mode. Nonetheless, not a bad problem. A lot of information you can see on this display though, as you can see here, um, you still see that charging display. On our right-hand side, we can see our um, efficiency in both for the battery as well as the... Um, gas engine separately which is kind of interesting i don't really seem to be able to find a combined one on here which is interesting you can also cycle through a few gauges here you actually have a battery temperature gauge um and a few other little nice little pieces of information there so battery temperature gauge as well as the engine coolant temperature gauge which is really interesting um, but i really do like this stuff and mazda has um some other cool ev stuff you can see in here in these settings so if i go to settings um we can go to ev settings you can see on different charging schedules we can see charging control time Timers, limit for AC charging. So right now it's set at 100%. Normally you're going to want to have this at 80%. Um, Mazda doesn't recommend to do 100% to prevent, um, you know, or to keep the battery um, as strong for the longest period of time as you possibly can. You can also choose to um, keep the charger connector locked. The vehicle key is also locked as well. So that's a nice feature. You can change your region braking level, which is cool. A lot of nice, nice functions in here. You also have your driving charge target. I believe this is the one when you are recharging the um, engine with the, I'm sorry, you're recharging the battery with the engine. So that button's right here. So when you press that, the engine will kick on and will charge the battery. So, but there isn't really a hold function. Um, so that's really interesting. Otherwise, really nice information here. And you also do have, when you are driving, you have a information display that will show your kind of drive efficiency monitor so you can see where the power is being distributed to. I really like this. You can see your region energy recuperated and your EV distance driven. And this will update on every single time you start and stop the vehicle as well. So that's a nice little function there. And I like this kind of East Sky Active PHEV sign right there. So really nice stuff. I think Mazda's done a fantastic job of integrating this technology and they have all the information I really want to see actually, which is kind of cool. Um, if there's something you guys think are missing, let me know down in the comments below, but so far so good on this. Um, and let's go take a look, look outside once again. Okay guys, so anyways, this is the new CX-90 plug-in hybrid from Mazda. Um, absolutely really nice looking vehicle. I, a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of the rear end. I think it's really grown on me, especially with this paint. You can see there's a little status light right here. We can see our little map to see what's going on with the status light, which is pretty nice. And it does lock when I lock the vehicle, which is really cool. Um, I just wanna show you guys the rear room just for a second, cause it's pretty big actually. Let's open up the doors. Huge rear door over here now. Um, this new CX-90. It's a rear-wheel drive platform, which is really nice. You got like sun shades. Um, inside, we have this really nice leather, premium leather seat and this premium plus model. So it's the top spec you can get in the um, plug-in hybrid. Though if you go for the six cylinder model, which is a mild hybrid, you can get a much nicer interior with Alcantara and even more premium tech and features. 
it's a really well-built car really really solid and it drives absolutely fantastic with this rear wheel drive architecture now a nice, nice little plug plug-in hybrid badge right here and it has a naturally aspirated four cylinder so you don't have to put in premium fuel it is locked right now but this is where you'll have your fuel gauge um, so you'll be saving money at the pump even when you do put gas in it because it's actually not that expensive to fill up either and especially with this plug-in hybrid powertrain you really are getting a lot i think for this car with over 320 horsepower and it, it's a really cool powertrain because the engine actually sits behind the front axle so you almost have like a front mid-engine setup here which is kind of cool and everything else is tucked back in the car um the motor electric motor is sandwiched in between the engine and the multi um clutch gearbox is an eight speed multi-clutch gearbox box um so there's some little like hesitation and lurching i've noticed sometimes but otherwise it's been pretty fine though i do have to say that electric motor is really powerful it's over 180 horsepower i think it's 150 horsepower i'm gonna put the exact number right there for you guys but it's a strong strong motor because this engine is not even making 200 horsepower alone so combined they're making around 323 ish 323 inch horsepower which is pretty pretty nice okay guys i have to run and we're not going to fully charge this thing now but let's unplug it and see what the results are okay guys so just make sure your vehicle is unlocked when you're unplugging your charger and we'll just do this pull out our plug super easy like that pop it back into the port there and that was our free charging session too so uh, let's see zero kilowatts delivered it's, it's not even fully reading everything which is a little weird but we can go check inside the car to see our charging status just make sure to put your cover back on there's a little holder right there for it and then you can close your absolutely massive charging door this thing is huge jesus mazda um, but let's go back inside let's see what kind of stuff we did bit of a walk around this car as it is absolutely huge and we can see results from this charging session we just did turn the car on unfortunately it doesn't give you like a summary display that would be nice but now we have 18 miles a lot of chimes here in the car and the battery is over half full which is pretty nice um there isn't a percentage i think i can see there i might be able to see that in the ev screen on the center uh, console here oh, turned it off by accident settings and we'll go to ev settings you can see some stuff there and we'll go and check our information our efficiency monitor hmm, nothing too interesting there information high voltage battery monitor ah here we go so we can see 58 percent stated charge total range combined around 140 miles e oh actually it's not combined it's gas and then ev range there which is interesting charging schedule has been turned off and you can see some additional charging time if we did charge 40 minutes so pretty cool um so that's not bad and like I said, it's been a pretty efficient car this week. Been averaging, let me see if we can go back to that screen really quick for you guys. 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. And we also see 27.4 miles to gallon on the gas engine. This is actually low. I was getting way more than that. I've just been doing a lot of city driving. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me on this quick charge of the CX90 plug-in hybrid. And make sure to watch the full tour and review this thing because it is a fantastic SUV. Cheers.